Hey everyone, Rich the Medic here, and today we are going to be playing Foundation. This is a game that I backed on Kickstarter, and it is essentially a city builder game where the idea was you could paint zones and your people would build in them. Now, you have to put down a certain amount of buildings, but basically it was more to do something a little different. So, let's see. We've got hills, coastal, fluvial. I have no idea what that is. Mountain or valley. I think we'll do valley. Um, I backed this game on Kickstarter probably a year and a half ago now. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I honestly do not remember and just didn't go and look because, well, I didn't want to. Um, I played a little bit of it right after they um, gave it out to the supporters so this is the map we have various zones we'll be able to expand in but we're only allowed to start with one and we're going to stop with this hilltop zone right here because it has everything we need trees berries for food and stone so it's going to want us to build a village center um where do i want to put this you know what i'm going to put this Kind of here. And this gives us people. And I am on free time looking to fill my needs. They need water and berries. Um, and they're unemployed. But we are going to... Th and by putting it down, we get access to a ton of things. So, let's see... I think I'm going to want a lumber camp, which we're going to put right over here by the trees. A uh, stone cutter camp we will put by the stone. Oh, I can't build it on the stone because, duh. Um, we're going to want a well, which we'll put over here by the town center. And I know I'm eventually going to want... Can we rotate these? Well, apparently we cannot rotate the buildings. Oh, I'm going to want a gathering hut, so we'll put that over here near the berries. Gathering hut, Laura stone counter, well, sawmill, granary. Okay, so we're going to have to give our people jobs. First thing we're going to do is make lots of people builders. Actually, everybody's going to be a builder, and then we'll change their job later. So we're going to speed up time. Now, when I was talking about zones, we have extraction zones. So we will put an extraction zone around the berries. We'll paint an extraction zone around the stone. And then we will put an extraction zone over here for these trees. And around here to clear out these trees. Okay, so we have a stone cutters kit camp ready to go. Actually. So let's turn this off. So we can assign people here, but unfortunately, there's no available builders. So Frederick, you're in. Virginia, you're in. Um, Catherine, you're in over here. You're in. And Rudolph, you're in. Now we're going to need a metric ton of stone. So we're going to go ahead and max out the number of people doing stone cutting. And we'll leave one person to do building. Because they need to build the warehouse. And more importantly, the gathering hut. Because the people assigned here will go and pick berries. So that's, um, that's kind of important. 
We have a village information window that says we have eight villagers. Oh, two are going to be joining. Three people passing by and two are going to stay because apparently they like it. Um, we get new people roughly every six days and we can rename this. What are we going to name this? Hmm. Heart of Sorrows. Because I'm pretty sure things are going to go horribly wrong. Absolutely horribly wrong. Now we have a well. We don't... Luckily, we don't have to give workers to this. They'll just go draw water when they need it. And our town center, village center, will kind of tell us what we have. We have 243 gold, 20 wood. We have no tools. We have 10 berries to start with, and we've got six stones so far. Now, you'll notice this says Tump Village Center Part 238. Yeah, down here, Alpha 1.4.9.1025. Although there is an update coming in December, I don't really know what they're adding, to be honest. But uh, we have two unemployed people, which is going to work out well because, guess what? We're going to assign two of you to go forage for berries because people like to eat. So we'll go ahead and close this window. Um, all is good. We have no issues. We're producing berries. We made a gathering hut. Now they want us to build a granary, which I think I'm putting right here already. Because that's where we're going to be able to store food. You're waiting for a build. Wait a minute. We have no builders? Oh, well, that wasn't very wise of me, was it? Um. Oh, we have one builder. Gunner, what are you working on? Oh, he is working on the building now. Okay. Uh, I like his picture. Now, the thing is, is I can't give these people houses. Which makes me sad. Oh, two people came and they're going to stay. Okay. So now we need a new transporter. And we need to add... Food to the granary. So we're going to select berries because that's the only option we have. We're going to accept. And that little, so all I need is for these new folks to arrive and show up so that we can. Huh. That's something new. You can sort people by status or by name. We'll leave it by arrival. Oh, it looks like our new people just arrived. So guess what? You're now a transporter. Um. Hmm. Do we want another transporter right now? No. I think I'm going to want another builder. So you're going to go build. So the granary is complete. Our little village is starting to take some shape here. I don't have any new zones. Fulfill the needs. So they want a market. I need a market trader. We need to sell berries. Okay. So. Oh, that's the trade. Don't want that. We want this. And believe it or not, a market is a decoration. Now, there are lots of things that we can put in here. A food stall, a good stall, luxury goods, tents, signs. We're going to keep this just very, very simple. I really wish I knew. Oh. Okay, so I thought I saw something in there that I could do. Market food stall. Right click to delete the building. Control plus horizontal mouse movements to rotate. We can rotate. Oh, that's amazing. I never noticed that before. The food stall is going to go right there. And start construction. And we are going to make you a priority because I want that done. I, I love the way these guys just run around. Oh, look at them wearing their little hats. <laughs> the, 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 the people in this thing are just, I love the little icons. She looks like she's very angry. 
She's probably a South Pole elf. Okay, so. I didn't want to click on you. I wanted to click on this. Alrighty, so. We're going to sell berries. And somebody... Oh, you know what? You just arrived, so you're a market tender. Go sell in the market. And now people can come and buy food. Now, we only have berries, so I'm not real sure why this thing has melons and green beans and all this other kind of stuff. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am a charitable servant, so we get... I don't know what those are. So we get four influence and labor influence. Oh, cool. Okay. So we'll get into that later. Your splendor of your village has unlocked new tiers of unlockables. Okay. Oh, but now we can do housing. But I have no place to put housing. Not much. But you know what? We'll take what we can get. So residential. Now we're going to paint in all this area over here to be houses. And we will paint a little bit of area over here for houses. I want these trees to all go away so we can have more houses and we can do reforestation so this oh excuse me sneeze there it's going to be reforested now you i was talking earlier about how if you put in the zones people just build their houses and they did jacob and ba baptiste have their house, houses. It's not a very desirable house, but it's a house. It's a place to live. So, our new unlockables. What do we got? Granary, sawmill, well, stone cutter, lumber, camp. They produce, lumber camp produces wood, but we can now have a sawmill. Which I think I will put here. Get dig on it. Because we're going to want that. We've already got a granary. This, what is, this is a stone cutter camp. A stone mason hut. needs cloth. I don't have cloth. I don't even know how to make cloth. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is something I don't want to get into right now. We can build buildings like a rustic church and things to make our village better. Um, I need more residential area. So I think we're going to paint over that. Cause I, yeah, I have nine villagers with no housing. I have, se I have 17 villagers? Did I miss some people coming in? Oh, my God. Yeah, we got four people and they have no jobs. We need jobs. So let's go to the workplace tab and see if we need a forager. We can use some transporters. Wait a minute, I have... How many stone counter camps do I have? What? Uh, how many flipping stone cutter camps did I build? Are you one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, living, okay, th that's, that makes more, s why did I build so many of those? I must have just been clicking at random. 
That's that was just dumb. Do you have anybody to go to work here? No, nope, we gotta wait for more people to show up. But you know what, guys? I yeah, ten people need housing. Guys, I think we'll leave this episode here for the first time around. We've got a good start of our village. We've got all the basic necessities down. Now we just need space for them to have homes. Which is going to be a little problematic because 10 of them don't have homes. Out of 18. That's not good. Probably need more builders to build homes. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, click that subscribe button if you haven't, and then the bell icon to know when no more episodes of Foundation go up. Um, leave any comments you may have down below. And um, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride. This is Rich the Medic. I'm out of here.